first one is is a motion by Seth Jackson from Make Studio. So Tony, what would you like to share about this work? Yes, hi, thank you for um, having this togetherness. And um, yeah, I would like to talk about this piece called Emotions by Seth Jackson. It's a mixed media piece, um, mostly watercolor, but I love it because it deals with emotions, even down to the teardrop in his, his teardrops in his eyes, even though his eyes are closed. And um, I deal with emotions, so I, I relate to this picture, picture, and it's done very nicely. And you feel, it gives you a feeling that you are feeling some kind of emotion going on. Not only just seeing that emotion is going on, but you feel it. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, yeah. And the next piece is Bonsai Forest by oh. Erica Clark, also from Mixed Studio. Yes, Video. Erica, she, she, he hit it out the park with this. I like ink. I like um, the black and white of it and um, the, the wash. I like the trees, bonsai. I like bonsai trees. And I, I like how she um, used the little acrylic in the painting, even though mostly it was mostly uh, probably ink washed. And um, she did the highlights in a, uh, I think the highlights are, are acrylic. It's done very well. She even has a perspective in this piece that I really like. When you look down at the bottom of the, the root of the tree, you can see kind of through the tree that there's something more on the other side. So I really like that. And the swerve of the tree is kind of, it's nice. So, yeah. yeah. Tony's an ink expert, so this is very high praise. Yes, I love it. Hello. Can, everybody, can everybody hear us okay? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Hello. and then, hi, Mike. We're, we're sharing work that we like, so Tony's speaking right now. Um, oh. And we're gonna keep, uh, uh, have a bunch of people talking and sharing work that they've chosen and like, but you'll, mm -hmm. you'll be able to talk too. Cool, all right. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. this Go isn't a make studio, this is from, um, Project Onward, mm -hmm. and it's by Luis DeMarco. Mm -hmm. It's called Six Deep, and six deep meaning death, and everybody's partying. And it's, it's, he's got familiar faces in there, like James Brown, Aretha Franklin, Bob Marley, and a whole bunch of other people, and even the, in the background where the band is. I know there are people that I, I wish I, I knew, but I know they're famous. <laughs> People. He does a good job of drawing the personalities of the artists that are singing and trying as to say even to the angels that he have at the top of the, the picture who are partying and he works with marker and this marker he works really well, especially that sky is to die for. He worked really beautiful in the sky. I mean, the whole picture is, is nice, but um, I really like the texture that the sky gives us. Um, a very nice picture, very nice picture. Uh, I like it a lot. And I like dealing, we, you know, when people, we, we all gonna get there dealing with the afterlife. And so I guess in his imagination, this is what they're doing in the afterlife, all these singers that, um, all, I think that's Janis Joplin, if I'm not mm. mistaken <laughs> there. But um, little by little, you can pick out the people. It's a nice piece, yeah. Yeah, that's an amazing piece. And actually, um, one another of our artists, Imani Turner, also picked that piece. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's a popular one too. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yes. Is, there, is there anything else you want to say, or is there anything um, anyone wants to ask Tony? Or do you want to speak, Louis? Um, is it okay if Louis speaks now? Um, yes, please. Hi, we're glad you're here. There's also uh, they're performing on the new Larry Sanders show. Yeah, who's yeah. Larry Sanders? Who's Larry Sanders? Tell Larry me. Sanders is. Gary Shandling. You can take your mask down right now. Larry Sanders is Gary Shandling. Gary Shandling. I don't know who that and, is. And you, can see, and you can see Patrick Swayze and Robin Williams as Mark. Oh, oh, well, okay. oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. I told you, I know everybody's in there famous, but you got to figure it out. That's great. That's a really and, nice. And on the, on the very left, you, you can't see him, but Screech is on the very left. You can't see him. Screech, what's his name? Justin Samuel. Dynamite. Justin Dynamite. Yeah. 
Oh, Dustin Diamond, yes. Dustin Diamond. Diamond Bale, Saved by the Bell. Because he just passed a, a little while ago as well. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a question asking what markers you Someone is asking what markers you used. What kind of markers do you use? I use uh, Prismacolor markers and, and uh, Fabric Castell markers. Fabric and Castell. Oh, those are good markers. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. It's a really incredible piece. We loved having it in the show. So thank you. Thanks. Yes, thank you. Okay, cool. Okay. Thanks, Tony. Ooh, thank Thanks you. so much. Mm -hmm. um, can you, would you mind mm -hmm. moving the chair? I think we're gonna have sure. Jay come up next. So Jay Bird is coming over and Jay picked this piece by Andy Kiley from Interact Center for Visual and Performing Arts called Womb. Jay, what would you like to share about this work? Um, I love the colors. The colors are great. Um, it looks like two people, a child and a mother hugging. A child That's, and a mother hugging? Yeah, the ones associated with the womb. Well, I was thinking last night, or a relationship, um, but it's essentially a mother and a child embracing and feeling of joy. Feeling and, of joy, and, yeah. And all the excitement and the red, the red gifts a lot of excitement. And, um, You said, yeah, we talked yesterday about how you said it feels like um, two, two people, it's specifically like a mother and child embracing, specific, maybe? Specifically a mother and child hugging. Hugging. Because uh, it's the, called the womb. Yeah. Um, I, I, um, it's, 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 um, the colors are, are um, I like a lot of good energy from the hug. Um, good energy from a hug. And you talked about- Amy. You talked about- uh, Good, how are you? Uh, Amy, we can hear you. Can you mute? Um, you talked about how it actually reminded you of your own mother too, is that right? Um, yeah, yeah, it's kind of like mom, the mother I'm past a while ago and um, she had a hug. She, Hug me and make everything like a rainbow, colorful and great. And um, I was, I was very, a very moving, moving uh, positive piece. I like it a lot. Um, yeah, it feels like a really warm, positive piece. And you said also yesterday that it, it felt motivating because it felt so it, like it's, positive. It's, 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 I was very motivating because of the the hug is an insecurity feeling and the colors are energy and, and some um, just very motivating um good vibes good vibe yeah yeah i love the piece a lot awesome i i, I did i'd be a beast called the womb a while ago. I'm not sure what, where it is, but. Um, oh, right. Jay also has a piece that he made a while ago called, that he called womb with yeah. like similar feelings, I think. Yeah. Well, similar feelings, yeah. Yeah, that's um, cool. It's cool that you connected with that when you had a, a piece of the same same uh, title. It was just after my mother had, had passed and I was been mostly triggered by Colors and it was, it was, it was, was a good influence in my life. Um, she died of Alzheimer's, but kind of lost it for a while. But it was a good, um, a good feeling for this, for this piece. Yeah, this piece gives very, you those good feelings. Very positive, like very um, kind of exciting, kind of. Um, powerful and um, uh, the red, the red and the green give them kind of um, energetic, kind of um, 
feeling. Yeah, very, very good energy. And is, is Andy on the call today? I know he was maybe going to join. Maybe not, maybe not, but um, Jay loves his piece. Okay, thank you so much, Jay. Is there anything else you wanted to say? Um, I was thinking it was like a mother and child because the mother was overpowering the child, not overpowering it, but um, protecting, protecting it, and you can feel the warmth in the picture. Yeah. I did like it. Very warm. Okay, great. Thank you, Jay. That was awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Faith, would you like to come up? Tony, could you help me get a chair? Okay, great. And next we have Faith McLucky, who is an artist at Art. Yeah, definitely at Art Naples. <laughs> just started at Art Naples recently, and she's also an artist at Visibility Art Lab. Yes. Um, and she picked a couple pieces that are from Visibility Art Lab including this piece by Sarah Davey, who's here with us. So can you talk to us about what you like about this? And I have your notes here if you want to look. Sarah Davey is very colorful. I like the eye in the middle. It feels very powerful, positive, positive. Yeah. I look. He said you like the intricate design. I like the the intricate design. It makes you feel like make, another dimension. It's me feel like another dimension i think the artist did a good job just well we'll go to that one next okay so that was sarah davy that's yeah. right i love that you said it makes you feel like you're in another dimension i think yeah. that's so cool it does feel like um all these shapes and things are like floating around you're yeah. in some kind of bright colorful world Okay, so next, um, Faith chose a piece by Justin Valenti, from, also from Visibility Art Lab. Um, and what did you want to share about this piece? Um, I like this because it's a doctor and we need doctors to help us it makes me feel safe to see a doctor. He looks like he talks with his hand. I like the star, mm -hmm. star line. In the background? In the background. They pop out and you at you at you. I think Justin did awesome. Yeah. Um, so you talked a lot about this piece made you feel very comforted because yeah. the doctor makes you feel safe and like it, you look. Yeah. It looks like he's talking to you, yeah. like talking with his hands. So I think that um, both. I think that, um, both, 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 both there's suddenly an echo. Um, I think that both of these artists are on the call. I don't know if um, Justin or Sarah would like to say anything. I'll say something. Hey, Justin. Um, hi. So I'm Justin Valenti. Um, I really liked Faith's description of the doctor piece. I thought it was really helpful to hear feedback from her. And I appreciate the um, thought that she um, put in her description. Yeah, thank you. And this also was a piece that, um, if we have time later, we have a video of Imani Turner, um, who's one of our artists. She also chose this piece. So this was also a popular piece with our artists. 
Thanks, Justin. You're welcome. And Sarah, you don't have to speak if you don't want to, but if uh, you- I, I, I'm, I'm muting myself. Um, thank you, Faith, for selecting me. I appreciate it. I like your descriptions. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> okay, cool, thanks, Faith. Okay, and um, so Vanessa wanted to be here today um, and was not able to, um, she was unexpectedly out today, but she did give me a quote about this piece that she chose, which is Human Colony by John Benke from Project Onward. It's a really incredible piece. And I'm gonna read the quote to you from Vanessa. Vanessa said, the statue in the middle there reminds me of a mermaid or Poseidon with his staff, like it could all be underwater. It gives me a feeling that it could be an underwater world. I feel like I'm inside of it when I look at it. It makes me think scientists who discovered this world are living in the houses. You look at the buildings and the gazebo, and I think with gazebo, she meant like these areas back here where you can walk underneath the mushroom trees and different things. You look at the buildings in gazebo and you walk down the bridge and there's a path where you can walk. Then you can walk through another path to see plants that look like coral. They look like they might be moving. I like the rainbow colors in the clouds and in the water. It makes me happy. I don't know how he did the light. It feels like a real world that you're in. It's very intense. I want to tell the artist this is very good. So that was Vanessa's quote. I don't know uh, if John is on the call today. No. John is not on the call today. He's actually working right now, um, but we will, if we can show him the recording, he will be so pleased to hear that. We really appreciate that. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. We really loved having this piece in the show. Um, so um, we have a couple more videos that we can play, but maybe we want to shift over to Make Studio first for a bit. Um, and we can, if we have time, we can come back to the other videos that Art Nables has. Does that make sense? Yeah, that sounds great. Um, Rosie or Terry? Um, looking at the order that we had in mind, we thought maybe Erica might speak about her pick next. And I believe Erica, is she down in the gallery now or is she still in the studio? She is heading over. She's in the studio the and gallery. coming right over. Okay. And I'm going to screen her the images that she's going to talk about. Those are right here. All right. Uh oh, is this a picture of me in my Halloween costume? Okay, phew. <laughs> All right, so Erica is going to be talking about um, four pieces two by David Kruger and two by, um, let me make sure I get the name right, um, by Maria Vanek, both from Arts of Life in Chicago. Um, so I'm going to put that one on screen and pass this over to Erica. All right, so um, this piece here, it gives off a very chaotic and, con and yet orderly feeling at the same time. The combination of colors and the, um, and the consistent atypical strokes that, that are, um, they're kind of reminiscent of older societies like the Aztecs or the Maya. And the coloration, it gives me kind of a, um, a mystical, occultish in the um, neutral sense kind of feeling and worship within this composition. It was as, as if there was a feeling of, of um, reverence and a great sense of importance. Um, and we can go to the next. This piece here by, well, the same artist. This piece, you can, you can tell that they are from the same artist because of the, um, the brightness of the colors and the, um, and the strokes and the kind of material. This year, instead of a um, feeling of reverence or um, an ancient feeling, gives a more modern and urban mm -hmm. scale in terms of this content. 
you can feel that it's kind of a snapshot and a um, snapshot into a bigger city. You know, a city that's welcome to home, it's superhero. Well, mm -hmm. that is the topic of its composition. And the people do, and, and um, the people, they love the heroes, they want them back. We all welcome home, welcome back. And the city has an early friendly and metal, metal pause and feeling. Reminds me of a Saturday morning cartoon comic strip. Next. Um, this particular composition, its colors and its strokes there and shapes, they are very, very simple. They are simple in a way that's kind of actually hard to emulate, I'd say. The simplicity and, and the thinness of the strokes, mm -hmm. in addition as to how the colors are rendered in almost kind of a um, brighter but still pastel kind of effect, and the abstraction of the um, of the shapes kind of gives me the feeling of an avant garde style animation. The motion or the smoke of, well, something coming out of a pipe or a cigarette, or water tunneling down a, a large tunnel or the rafters. Either way, it gives a really, um, it gives a really interesting feeling of motion and flow. Next. And this one here also gives me the feeling of kind of avant garde style animation. You see here that there are kind of two, cre one or maybe two creatures. One of them looks like as if they're throwing kind of seashells that kind of morph into, well, porcupine like needles. <laughs> And the figure on the right, well, honestly, he could be either a figure or just a statue, considering how he's shaped. But his coloration and, um, and the texture of how he's drawn, and of course the color actually kind of reminds me of the Grinch for whatever reason. <laughs> I just think that's an interesting observation. And um, the, the figures on the, um, uh, on the left, they well, they remind me of the, they kind of remind me of the tropics, hmm. and also due to how it's shaped, it also kind of reminds me of those say, of those strength, of those strength tests that you get when you're in carnivals or <laughs> or in the fairgrounds, especially since you can kind of see a balloon on top as well. <laughs> And in the background, I see what can be considered either a pair of shades or a pair of shades for windows. Right there. Yeah, so I think it's all really interesting pieces of artwork. They look kind of simple at a glance, but when you really look at them, there are a lot of things you can kind of muss out of them. Mm -hmm. And they all have their very distinctive feels and emotions. Thank you. Um, I love how many uh, ideas you had around the shapes. We were talking earlier about it, and there was even more um, yeah. things that these shapes evoked um, as you were talking now. Um, I know Maria and David were hopefully going to join the call. Are either of them here today? Alrighty, I can't see all the videos at the moment. So chime in if you are here and would like to speak, but we'll we'll share the recording as well. Um, thank you so much, Erica. We're gonna transfer downstairs into our physical gallery um, next with Bess to see if we can do a live uh, video with the piece. She's gonna do it right from here, Rosie. Oh, great. 
then I'll pull up a, um, a image so folks can see it screen shared and best in a moment when you see it, you can speak. <laughs> you got the computer right on my drawing. <laughs> That's not polite. <laughs> oh, so this piece as I pull it up and Terry is actually gonna try to um, bring the physical piece up next to Bess in the studio. Um, this piece is from an artist at Center for Creative Works in Pennsylvania. And the piece is called Mermaid by Natasha Plaza. Um, so, I'll share the good news that it's one of the pieces that has sold so far. I'm cordially invited. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. I love the bowls. All right, so here comes our delightful uh, artwork handler assistant, Terry, with the piece. Um, so you can get a sense of size um, behind Bess, but I'm also gonna share it on the screen so that we can see some truer color. All right, and Bess, when you're ready, share what you wanna say about this. Well, I love the size of it, it's so huge. But I also love how the mermaid's like, she's, it looks like she's just making all the bubbles in the piece. <laughs> Is there more you wanna say about it? I know you were thinking about the bubble texture, but there's a lot of textures in this piece. And I love the, contrast between the like the water color and the um what's that is that like pastel or watercolor pencils the materials are listed as marker and ink oh ink mm -hmm. yeah how you know markers could do that That's some appreciation for you. How'd you make markers do that? Yeah. Um, thanks so much, Bess. Is there anything else you'd like to say? That's it. Okay, sounds good, thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get back to my drawing. Very well, keep listening in. All right, um, our next artist to share from Make Studio um, is Chuck Fisher, who I think hasn't been able to join the call, but did record a video um, last week. And he is speaking on a piece um, by an artist from Art Enables, Michael Knox. Um, and the piece is called Capillum Scorpion. So I'm gonna play this video for us. I love this piece. Um, I'm a Scorpio, so it, it's a great piece of mine. Of like, not mine, but of um, of his. And um, I love the combination. It reminds me of like doing your hygiene, and it and it reminds me of. That's what I want to do with my hair. And um, I like the particles right here of the hair falling off of the Scorpio. And I love this part right here. The, um, the outline right here. And this looks like a, um, a braids right here. And um, 
It's just well put together. Well, the sun, the sign of mm -hmm. the cities. That's what stood out to me, too. It makes me think of, like, kind of like horror, like, like a horror movie going bad. <laughs> <laughs> like, like a horror movie going bad, like, with scissors and stuff like that. Like, something hairy, really hairy crawling. <laughs> and, like, like, I can imagine, like, somebody stepping on it and, like, Hey, head falling off of it. <laughs> you know? Yikes. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. I love this piece. Take care of yourself. Or else <laughs> you can learn. Like Wait, that. say that part again. Take care of yourself. Do do do. Do do do. <laughs> yeah. But. Um. I I hope you caught all those jokes. This piece really uh, inspired Chuck to laugh and make me laugh as we were talking about it. Um, I'm gonna screen share so folks can see the picture um, a little more clearly, an image of the of the work a little more clearly. Um, and did I see in the chat that Mike is here today? Yes, he is. Mike, do you wanna say a couple of things about this piece? Can you unmute yourself and say a couple of things if you're still here? Mike, are you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes. Hi. Hey. Hey. Um, yeah. Uh, the the uh, <clears throat> what I was thinking about is um, uh, my thing is thinking outside the box and trying to uh, every piece I do I try to exceed uh, exceed it more advanced than the last piece and I try to get even better at it and um, I, I just thought you know I, I mean. I, of course, I'm a lover of uh, of the scorpion and um, all kinds of reptiles. And I thought, what neat concept would it be to actually have a scorpion of hair and um, to, to to show um, to show creativity about, you know, um, in other words, have the piece jump out to the customer, you know, really catch their eye and and, and really uh, strike up a conversation about it and. Um, uh, just, just, uh, just uh, um, like I said, thinking outside the box and, and getting more creative of each piece I go on and do it, um, and, and tries to exceed at the last from the last one as, as well. So um, this one uh, was kind of a difficult one to do because of all the uh, the way I, did, I had to do the hair, but um, I wanted to be very, very expressive with it and, and just uh, you know, like I said, um, turn it into a, a conversational piece. Um, something like that. So I'm um, trying to be as creative as I can so, with it. Thank you so anyway. much. Mike. It's really cool to hear you speak about this piece too. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I hope folks caught in the video too that Chuck said he wished he, he could have hair that looked like this, like a braid that was a scorpion um, or mm -hmm. some sort of hair piece. Um, and if, uh, if things go the way we were thinking, we might try to build one. So um, We'll yeah, one, so. <laughs> yeah, one other thing I might add, um, uh, the reason why I chose the scorpion is that um, I, there was an image that I saw of a pot um, by a famous photographer, and uh, the, instead of flower, it was a, as, a, as a ponytail or, or, or a braided pigtail, um, braid, I'm sorry, braided ponytail growing out of it. And when I saw that braided ponytail, that is why I chose the image of a scorpion it looked like to me it was a scorpion tail so i wanted to incorporate that so i just took that image and, and added to the uh scorpion um and and, and later on uh, reminded me of oh hey put moose there and some scissors in a comb there you go in the hair so. um and i just want to chime in quickly and say um mike i think that piece is actually the photo that inspired you was uh, a sculpture by a visiting <laughs> artist we had earlier this year named shelly pico um, yeah, I think I remember that. Yeah, really fun that that inspired your this piece. I absolutely love this piece. Okay. That's so exciting to see the chain of inspiration. If we bring it back into sculpture, then it will have come full circle. Mm. So stay tuned. Thank you so much, Mike. Thank you.
Um, and as a final um, image to share before I pass it back to a couple of makes, or sorry, a couple of Art Enables videos, um, one of our artists, Lewis Middleton, um, chatted with me last week about this piece I'll show in a moment by Dennis Quillen, also from Art Enabled. Um, and uh, Lewis really appreciated that this was a landscape um, and a sunset, which are subject matter that he also really enjoys working with. Um, and he especially uh, admired the density of the colored pencil here. Um, so I wanted to bring those thoughts in, even though Lewis wasn't able to make it today. Yeah, that's great. You know, Dennis is famous for that, for his um, colored pencil use. He's a master. Yes. Um, wonderful. I'll pass it back to you, Marissa, then for okay. your videos. Let me um, share my screen again. Um, so um, we have a couple of videos. Um, uh, they're each about three minutes long. Um, the first one is with Amani Turner, and she has a few pieces that she's picked out. Um, the, the sound is a little echoey because it's in the gallery. If people if the audio is not, I'm hoping the audio is coming through. If it's not, somebody let me know, but here we go. There we go. Okay, so this piece is called Doctor with Optical Illusion by Justin Valenti from Visibility Art Lab. Amani, what do you like about this piece? I like it because it has a doctor on it and he's wearing like a blue shirt, gloves, mask, and a hat. And why do you like it? Um, what about the doctor do you like? <laughs> Actually, I like doctors, but I like doctor shows. TV On shows? TV, you have doctors. And this was my me of a doctor. Yeah, it is a doctor. Yeah. What do you think about the, the pattern that's behind him? I like that too. I like the wow colors together. How does it make you feel when you look at it? Um, <laughs> happy. Happy? Not sad, but happy. Mm -hmm. What else would you like to say? If you could say something to this artist, what would you say about this piece? I would say I like this piece and I'm happy that you drew it. by Louis DeMarco from Project Onward called Six Deep. And can you tell us what you think about this piece? I like the, I like the, the singers and the music. The singers. Mm -hmm. All the different musicians. Yes. But it's kind of, it's kind of reminding me of a singer I like. Yeah. What do you think about the three, like, angel type? Figures. Well, I like the different colors. That's my well, like, oh, wait a minute. What are you saying? Peace out. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. So I like that one. Think about this particular piece, which is by Rick Fleming from Stage Studio, and it's called High Sea Ecto Cooler Can. Can you tell us what you like about this piece? Well, this one? Mm hmm. Yep. Uh, I like the ghost. And who is that on there? I don't know. I don't know that particular ghost. And I think it's Slimer. Yeah, Slimer. And, and what's it from that you like? Ghostbusters movie. What do you like about it? Well, I like it because it got a ghost on it, and I love ghosts. Mm -hmm. Like ghost movies, like Casper. Mm -hmm. I love Casper. He's okay. He's friendly. He don't hurt people, but his his uncles, his uncles do. Mm -hmm. but I like this piece because it's fun and it's art, and somebody drew it. Mm -hmm. And they made it to look like it's like a can, like a product that you would drink, like high C. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he made the can too. Huh? He didn't. He didn't just paint a can. He made the can himself. Oh. <laughs> Well, that's why it looks pretty cool. Okay.
Um, great. And so I don't know if we have any, we have uh, Lewis, we heard from you and Justin, I guess. Um, I don't think that Sage is on the call, um, but if I'm wrong, please chime in. We have um, there we hold on. another video um, with Jillian Patterson, who picked a piece by Aaron Harvey from Nina Haggerty Art Center and Serena Wilson, um, I believe also from Project Onwards. So I'll play this for you. Okay, we have Jillian Patterson here with Aaron Harvey's Landscape. And Aaron Harvey is from Nina Haggerty Center for the Arts. Jillian, can you tell me again what you like about this piece? I like that it has lots of yellow. It's my favorite color. Favorite color? What else? I like that it has a river with boats floating on it. Yeah. What else do you think? What do you think about this, the, the red line that goes through there? That curvy line, what do you think about that and the other curvy shapes in there? I think that curvy shape kind of looks like a, a, little, a, little, a little bridge. Kind of like a bridge. What else, what else do you think about this piece? What else do you like about it? I think it has a little palm tree. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff, but maybe at first it sort of looks like it's just shapes. And then there's a whole landscape there. What else do you see in it? I see a little bird. Yeah. Anything else you want to say about it? It kind of reminds me of the Caribbean islands. Oh, interesting. What would you want to say to the artist about it? Oh, I'd say it's, this, this drawing is, is tropical-tastic. Tropical-tastic? Awesome. Yes. Cool. Anything else you want to say? I like, I like lots of colors. You like the colors in it? Yes. Awesome. Okay, great. Okay, we're here with Jillian Patterson in front of a piece by Serena Wilson from Project Onward. And Jillian, can you tell us what you like about this piece? Well, I like the sparkles. Yeah, very sparkly. Yes. I also like, like, like the tail of that mermaid. What do you like about the tail? Because it has, has gold parts. Gold parts. And it has like two different colors of gold glitter on it, actually. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of looks like my necklace. And I like, and I like, and I like the ocean part. Yeah. Great the layers back there are blue. Yes. Do you like that it's a mermaid? Do you like? I, I, I like that it's a mermaid. Yeah. What else? What would you want to say to the artist about it? I want to say this pink, this sparkly art reminds me. Reminds me of my trip to the beach. Oh yeah, that make you feel good to, to look at that. Yes. Nice. Anything else you want to say? I like the same. You like what? I say I like I like the sparkles because they're so shiny. Yeah, really shiny and sparkly. Okay, great. Thank you. No problem. Okay, that was um, the last of our artist shares. I don't know if, um, is uh, Aaron Harvey here? Yeah, right here. Hi. I have two pictures I wanna show you guys. This is one of them. Uh, Paul Freeman helped me. Yeah, cool. last, I have another one, uh, this one. Yeah, th yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah, she, it's actually glass like onto the paper and then it transformed into a, a picture frame. Yeah, and that was from uh, Paul Freeman, but it, Paul Freeman doesn't work for us anymore. We just have um, girl staff, yeah. Oh, okay. Is yeah. there anything you would want to share about the piece that um, Jillian uh, checked out that was in the show? Oh yeah, that was good. Uh, yeah, that was very, I was very happy to see that that she liked my picture. Yeah, that was nice. Awesome, yeah. we love yeah, that. Yeah, I think color it really good, like good coloring, yeah. Yeah, excellent coloring, thank you. 
Okay, great. I think that, well, I think that wraps it up for us, unless there's any other artists who want to chime in who are on the call. We have Sereno here from Project Onward, okay. uh, the, the La Serene Mermaid piece. Uh, we want to thank um, for the shout out. And here he is, and he could share his one of his other pieces for a sec, if that's cool. That's great. Here he is. Serena Wilson. Serena Wilson, ladies and gentlemen. Put the, uh, the camera together. There we go. Yes. All in glitter. That's incredible. So that's uh, his uh, gatekeeper, St. Peter, that he did for his uh, solo show. So we happen to have this one in the office because we're applying for a different show for Serena in it. So you can see how glitter is always in um, the forefront in his work. That's why he's called Sereno Glitter Man Wilson. <laughs> Do you want to say anything, Sereno? Uh, thanks for selecting me. Uh, congratulations to all the artists. And, uh, wish you all the best. Good luck to all the directors, and uh, congratulations. Uh, make sure I put my mask back on. Thanks, Serena. Serena Wilson, ladies and gentlemen. Serena! Serena, put on mask Thank you so much. That's awesome. It's really cool to see some other work from you guys, too. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you all so much for this um, collaborative sharing. Um, it's great to have so many artists here who, um, whose work is being shared about, um, and it really makes the mutual appreciation feel mutual, um, that there's, there's so much to notice and, um, like feel positive about, um, in each other's work and to be able to get to say it, um, in the presence of that artist is especially exciting. Um, so thank you all for being here and, and for sharing for those who shared as well.